Hi everyone, this is a reading with me for you. This is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you and we will take a look and see what is coming through. Um, so I just wanted to mention as well that this is a safe space where you are always very, very welcome. And we're going to take a look and see what is coming through for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, so let's have a look. Um, all personal services, readings, items, things that I offer are always listed down below for your convenience. So do check those out if you're interested and they are also on shopmoonlightguidance.com. So reading here. Wow. If this isn't a sign to come, uh, if, this isn't, if, <laughs> if this isn't a sign of what is to come for you, then I don't know what is. That didn't even make any sense. What I'm trying to say is that this is definitely a sign of things that are going to come your way. And it's also based off your past life. Now in your past life, you had difficulties, you had challenges. I also feel here as well that in so many ways, you always had to do what everybody else was telling you. You really didn't have a lot of freedom in your past life. In fact, some of you were not actually able to choose the kind of career that you wanted to do, and you were very, very dependent on your family, not because you wanted to be, but because they would hold on to you and they would tell you what to do and you had to work for the family um, and it was more of a situation of like um, there would be the kind of same generations in the family if that makes sense so you would be for example in your past life I really feel like you were living with your mother or your father you know mother and father or however it was um, it's different for each person because some of you may have had a mother in your past life you may not have had a father you know but basically you would have like mother father grandmother granddad and then your children. So there would be multiple generations in the same family. And so when you were working, you were not just working for your family as in your children, okay? And your spouse, you were actually working also for your parents and your grandparents. And it was a lot of pressure. And you were not able to do the kinds of jobs that you wanted to do because you had to really be very focused and have a stable job. And that meant you couldn't really set up just, you know, your own business and things like that. It was very difficult basically. And you did a lot of work for your family, like a lot. And so we're probably thinking like, oh, what's, Moonlight, what's my past life got to do with things now? Well, in this lifetime, you have way more independence. And a lot of this independence is also based off the fact that you did so much good karma in your past life that you are the chosen one, okay? You are the chosen one. In this lifetime, you have so much more strength courage and independence to have an independent career to do what you want to do in life and to you know to go out and have a job that you want to go out and apply for the things that you want to do and to set up you know a business that you want to set up to work towards your goals and your dreams and your ambitions which is something you couldn't do before because you were very very you weren't allowed basically okay and you were very um conservative also in that sense as well and it was more sort of traditional whereas i feel in this lifetime there's a lot more of a modern aspect to it where you can do the things you want you know the social media can also be involved and things like that so it's it's actually quite I want to say that it's beautiful because you know what I do think that in your past life what you did was beautiful. You you really helped your family. You were there for them. There was a, a you know a family energy, but it became a lot for you sometimes because you were not always able to do what you wanted to do, right? So in this lifetime, what I'm trying to say is that you have the ability to do all of the things that you want to do. And you know what? In this lifetime, you might think to yourself, "Well, me like I'd also love a family and a spouse." You know, well it is here, okay? Like that's something you're also going to have as well. You don't have to compromise right? You, you will not compromise. You will have a lot more financial stability and security as well. And it's all based upon your past life and how much good karma you generated. You will have a loving, healthy, lifelong romantic partner that loves you and cares for you and respects you to the degree that you want to be respected. And also this person will be at your own level. They will come to you with a very similar background in terms of intellect and values and morals. This person here is also financially very, very secure and very stable. Six of Wands shows a lot of progress and a lot of movement. There's a sense of victory here. There's parties, there's um, things like marriage, you know, um, events, baby showers. There's just going to be some really lovely family events, but to a degree where you feel like 
okay, this is not too much. It's not taking away something from my life. It's actually just adding more value into my life, adding more fulfillment into my life, giving me more joy, giving me more peace, giving me more happiness. And that's what I see here is that there's just going to be more happiness and more joy and more fulfillment you are the chosen one, okay? So if this resonates with you so far, comment down below, I am the chosen one. Because you're the chosen one because of what you have done in your past life, it has generated so much amazing, good karmic energy where you are being protected by your angels and your guides and they are directing you towards more abundance and more happiness and more joy they are bringing opportunities for your highest good and of course keep in mind that everybody has lessons to learn from time to time expecting your life to be perfect is not ideal because life is about duality and if a person never has lessons how do they grow how do they learn but also at the same time what's really quite powerful here as well is that things in your life will only get better especially if you have been dealing with like obstacles challenges and things like that over the course of time from before wow I need more information on this wow look at this the chariot also shows more travel as well and this also shows a romantic partner coming towards you without you having to pursue them you got a beautiful energy here of the two sphinx which represent tau and in the history of tau, uh, tarot tau represents the yin and yang energy okay and so it shows here a beautiful energy of someone that is like destined to be with you someone that is your other half not in the sense that two halves make up a whole you know how people say like this is my other half well they're not saying like this is this is the other half of my body <laughs> they're saying like this is this is my person you know but what i'm trying to say is of course your two holes that complement each other that make a beautiful relationship i'm not saying that they are literally your half and then you're complete because you are complete within yourself okay it's just really important to keep in mind um but there's beautiful travels there's a lot of happiness, there is a lot of fulfillment, there is a lot of joy and a lot of movement. You know, you will start to feel happier, stronger, much more motivated, much more content within yourself. You will start to feel more peace, more happiness and more joy. And you will start to feel like things in your life are really moving in the direction that you want it to move in. And that will give you so much peace and so much happiness and so much joy. And I also see here as well that, yeah, you will really be respected for how kind you are, your emotions, because I do feel that you are much more of an emotional person, you feel things a lot, but you will be respected for that, you will be seen as someone who is grounded, who is caring, who is understanding, who is respectful, and in turn, you know, people will respect you for the kind of energy that you also bring into the picture as well, they will not be demeaning towards that at all and you are definitely the chosen one this is a high priestess energy this is very very spiritual and that clearly goes to show here that you are being chosen in this lifetime to achieve great things you are being you know guided towards amazing trips and journeys people coming into your life pursuing you especially a romantic partner more money is going to come your way as a result of the good karma you have also done in your past life this will happen as time goes by but also you're going to be doing something you enjoy so career-wise if right now you're doing something that you really don't enjoy you don't like and it doesn't give you a lot of financial stability there is a big change that will come your way this change allows you to build on something that you really enjoy so you may set up your own business um, you may still you know have your job and then be working on your business in its own time and then once your business is more stable you then quit the other job but you will be building on something that is of your own that you're very very passionate about and then that will grow over the course of time and uh, the modern aspect of things will help you now the modern aspect can be modern machinery it can be social media it can be you know those aspects because of course in your past life you were more with the traditional things like you did more labor-based work you were making things doing things um, whereas in this lifetime you then get the good karma of the modern aspect which can be social media it can be you know having an online business it can be um marketing things online and that's how your business then gets a lot of recognition or word of mouth you know things like that so it's really interesting how it all happens and how it comes together but wow now let's look into the love aspect because i feel like we looked a lot into career we looked a lot into money but let's have a look a bit more into love so there's a very very hard working individual who you deserve because this person will match your energy you know they will be just as hard working they will be just as proactive they don't make excuses they don't make themselves the victim of circumstances they like to get things done they like to be you know a good um what's the word a good member of the community 
and they care you know they care they work hard they I also feel like this person, by the way, is someone who likes to make things, okay? It could be that they like to um, make jewelry or they like to do DIY things or they like to get very creative. Um, if you are specifically like interested, um, but the other thing as well is it could be like a carpenter, a builder, um, could be someone that just does a lot of like making, okay? There are so many jobs that involve making things, okay? Even, and this is how, you know, it's a bit vague. I know, I know it. I know this message is vague. I'm honest about that, okay? Like that message is vague. But even with my job as well, I make items, right? Like bracelets and the necklaces and the anklets and things on my website. So I know how vague that sounds. But um, this, this card gives a really good example of like the making aspect, okay? Um, but anyways, I did want to mention as well that intention items, I do offer them as well and thousands of people have seen results with them. So I do, you know, there's bracelets, necklaces, candles, sage bundles, teas, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow and um, they're for different intentions and uh, everything is listed on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, but also listed down below as well because we do have an Etsy store as well. And um, there's also, of course, personal tarot readings with me if anyone wanted a reading with me. There's also as well the rituals for different areas of your life, be it for love, money, success, marriage career healing beauty justice black magic energy removal protection ritual there's so many rituals on there as well on my website and they are also linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com okay so <laughs> that was like a little leeway into that but i thought <laughs> might as well so we've got here the ace of uh wands okay so things are really going to get moving for you like literally a year from now you'll be like ah oh, wow what you said came true so i feel like everything i'm mentioning here will be like pretty much set for you like a year from now and you'll be like that actually did happen moonlight i am the chosen one and it did actually happen because look chosen one chosen one we have the eight sis and so we've got fire we've got water this is balance okay because you putting action into things brings you that happiness brings you that emotional fulfillment that joy that happiness um your work life here and the energy that you put into your work manifests the energy that you put into your love life of this person coming towards you wanting to pursue you wanting to come forward wanting to express themselves to you manifests and there is just so much overflowing happiness and joy and love and fulfillment and things really moving in such a beautiful direction that it gives you so much so much fulfillment you know you've got the red and the blue and those are often seen as you know the colors on a magnet for example you know where the red and the blue they attract and so i really feel here that things are only going to get better for you um if you see doves white feathers um like wings wings that look specifically like angel wings these are signs that you're really on the right path and you will see it okay even if you see like um an angel if it's in the form of a picture if you see one in real life for example if you see like a child wearing angel wings or you see angel wings in general that's a big sign um, they don't have to be like actual in, in, what I'm, basically what I'm trying to say is that um, I'm not saying that you know you see like an actual angel with wings what I'm seeing is that you can see like you know angel wings on a child or um, something that looks like angel wings um, and doves as well because you know this is the energy of like an olive branch you might even see an olive branch but uh, here as well okay you may even see white birds that look like a dove for example these are signs that you are on the right path you don't need to look for these signs you don't need to go out and be like dove dove come here please okay hello mr dove i need a sign <laughs> um you'll just be minding your business and you'll see these signs but when you see them you might think to yourself hmm does that mean anything it, it means something um and this is what it means is that basically your abundance and the things that you are working towards will manifest into your life and come into your life and progress into your life and it's going to give you a lot of happiness for your life and it's going to be quite exciting quite exciting indeed so this is your reading and if this resonates with you don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below the affirmation i am the chosen one also if you ever wanted to purchase any personal services with me uh, everything's always listed down below readings intention items services also there's tiktok and instagram i post short readings on there every day it's moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok and i'll see you all very soon bye